Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the number pattern, which looks like this. So in order to print this kind of number pattern by writing the Java program, we need to find out few details from this pattern guys. That is how many number of rows are there in this pattern? First row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, total five rows are there in this pattern. And also if you clearly observe how many numbers are there in each and every row. In the first row, there is one number. What about second row? Second row, there is two numbers. There are two numbers. Third row, there are three numbers. Fourth row, there are one, two, three, four, four numbers. Fifth row, there are one, two, three, four, five, five numbers. And also one more interesting thing that you can observe from this pattern is in the first row, only ones are there. In the second row, only twos. Then two numbers are there, but they both are two. In the third row, the three number is there, but it is three times. In the fourth row, four number is there four times. Same number four times. Same number five times. So to print such kind of pattern, let me practically demonstrate the program. Let's write the Java logic for that, guys. Okay. So here we need to create this for loop based on the number of rows. Here number of rows is equal to five. So this for loop that I'm going to write should iterate how many times? Five times. So starting from int i is equal to one, i less than or equal to five, i plus plus. This for loop will iterate five times. Inside this for loop, we need to write, we need to create another for loop guys. Okay, we need to create another for loop, which will create, which will print this number space. Okay, the purpose of this inner for loop is to print the numbers. Now to print the numbers, we need to create this for loop. And here guys, one more thing here, that is this for loop, how many numbers should it print in the first iteration? How many numbers should be printed in the first iteration? That is first row, only one number should be printed. In the second iteration, second iteration of the for loop, that is in the second row, two numbers should be printed. Third iteration, that is third row, three numbers. Fourth iteration, fourth row, four numbers. Fifth iteration, fifth row, five numbers. So according to that, we need to build the logic case. Int j is equal to one, j less than or equal to y. That means in the first row, only one number will be printed. Because I am saying j less than or equal to y, guys. That's the reason. j plus plus here. Let me demonstrate anyhow. Here system.out.println. Instead of ln, we have to write the normal print statement, guys. We should not be using print ln here. Here we need to print a number, guys. Which number we have to print? We need to print this i. If you print the i, guys, so the required thing will happen. You see, in the first iteration, i is equal to one i is equal to one. The first row or first iteration, i is equal to one. So here j is equal to one, j less than or equal to i means one less than or equal to one. True or false, true. So one will be printed because i is one, so one will be printed. And then j plus plus will happen, j will become two. Two less than or equal to one is not true. So only single number one will be printed here, done. And after that, after that, here we have to write a print ln statement, guys. After this five star iteration in the, uh, at the ending of the first iteration, we have to use print ln because after printing this number one, we have to move to the new line. Before printing this twos, we have to move to the new line. That's the reason we have to write print ln statement here. Now i plus plus will happen, i will become two. When i becomes two, here j is equal to one, j less than or equal to two. How many numbers starting from one till two? That means two times. This for loop will iterate two times and each time it will iterate, i should be printed. Current value of i is two. So two will be printed in the first iteration. 2 will be printed in the second iteration. Two twos will be printed. Simple. Again, print ln. The cursor will, uh, the control will go to the new line like this. And here I will become three. I will become three. Here j is equal to one. J less than or equal to three. Three times. This for loop will iterate three times. Every time it iterates, it will print i. Current value of i is three. So three, three, three. Three times three will be printed. And again, we'll go to the new line like that. Five iterations will happen, guys. Okay. This kind of pattern is coming. Perfectly fine. But one more thing we need to customize this program is after a while printing this number that is i in each and every row or in each and every iteration, you see there is a space between the number space, right? There is a space between the numbers. To get that particular space implemented, along with this uh, i, we have to print the space case like this. This will do the required thing, okay? You see, now when I run this code, you will see the required pattern. Okay, required number pattern will get displayed in the output. If I run this code, you will see the output. You see, we got the exact output. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5. So this is the expected output. 
So hope guys you understood how to write a Java program to print the number pattern, which is which will look like this. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.